What's good, y'all? Back with Streets. Freestyle cooking with Streets. Thanks for tuning in, man. Got another great video I'm going to share with y'all. Like I do, like I always try to do. Whenever I got something going on that I ain't post to show, try to bring it to the people. You feel what I'm saying? So tonight, you know, we doing the cold cut thing. So we making some sandwiches, you know what I mean? So I decided to... Uh, bring y'all in because I'm going to make my own oil, you know, my own sub dressing, hoagie dressing, sandwich dressing, whatever you want to call it, make my own dressing for my sandwich, okay, you know, I love oil on my, on my hoagie sandwich, anything like that, so, you know, we're going to make a homemade uh, oil dressing, street style, you feel me, plus, you know, Maybe you might, you know, we're going to do the sandwich. It's the sandwich you could make. You know, freestyle cooking with streets, man. Just sharing y'all, you know, just sharing with y'all what's going on with me. All right? So, we're going to get right into it. All right. As y'all can see, I got my blender out, ready to get this thing popping. Now, if you don't have a blender or food process or anything like that, um, you know, you could just... Use a cup or bowl or something like that and, you know, mix all the ingredients in and just mix it up real good. I'm just breaking out the blender because this is a real quick video sharing with y'all real quick, man, because I, I figure why not. You know what I mean? Some people might want to have their own oil and you can jar it up, put it in the refrigerator, you know. And, you know, something just, you know, to get that extra flavor to your sandwich, you know what I mean? Make it stand out a little bit, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to – I got some – Red wine vinegar. Okay. Got some red wine vinegar. I'm going to go ahead and add a quarter cup of that to my blender. Quarter cup. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar. All right. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of lemon juice. Uh, if you got some fresh lemons, you figure about a half lemon squeeze will be good. All right. Tablespoon. Next, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of uh, dry basil, y'all. Dry basil. Next, I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon of some oregano, dry oregano. All right, next, I'm going to go ahead and add a half teaspoon of my whole grain mustard. You could use Dijon mustard, regular mustard. I'm using my whole grain mustard because I just like how you see how, like, all that flavor, you just, uh, yeah, popping. So I'm going to go ahead and add a half teaspoon of that. Next, I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of some red pepper flakes. All right, y'all. Next, I'm going to add some gourmet pink peppercorns or red peppercorns. Okay. And just like uh, black peppercorns, you know what I'm saying? You know, most of us buy the grounded black pepper already grounded up, of course. And some of us use the whole uh, peppercorn, you know what I'm saying? That you can either crack, throw in a sauce, whole, you know. There's a lot of different ways you can use peppercorns, but you had the white, the green, the black, the, the pink, and just the basic difference of it are the, just the taste and the intensity of the pepper. Okay. Now these are, are kind of like, um, I would say a sweet, spicy, like, but on the light side. Okay. You know, not as, you know, strong as the black peppercorn, but it's, you know, got a nice little flow to it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, you could use these, you know, crack, you can crack them, you can grind them fine, you know, bring color to a recipe, you know what I'm saying? Or add just a, you know, fly a little taste to it, you dig? So, uh, well, man, most of the time you find these in, like, I can't find, I didn't, like, I don't ever find uh, the red peppercorns or the pink peppercorns in my market. I found this in, like, a, a home goods store where I get my seasoning at, you know what I'm saying? You know, like a TJ Maxx or Mar Marshalls or uh, Ross or something like that, where they sell like gourmet seasonings. I actually got this out of the Home Goods, so you know I had to grab it. I always try to grab it if they got it. You feel me? 
all right and most of the time you can probably find you know you probably go online if you want these you go online get them try them y'all you know not expensive you know what i mean you get like a little eight ounce bag for a couple bucks you know what i'm saying but um you normally can find like the green peppercorns white and black mix you can usually find that in your seasoning aisle you know maybe i'll do a video on the different peppercorns when i use them or not i use the black peppercorns all the time in, in my grinder you know so but we're going to add this to our dressing, y'all. Okay? I know I'm talking y'all head off, but I'm breaking it down. In case nobody you know, never knew about red pepper, basically. Because if you grind it up real good, if you grind it like ground black pepper, it'll be ground pink pepper. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and add a, about a quarter teaspoon of peppercorns. All right? Because I'm going to also add some... I'm going to also add some black peppercorns, okay? So here I got my black peppercorns already come in the grinder, McCormick. I just want to go ahead and grind up maybe about a quarter teaspoon too. There we go. All right, y'all. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add in my sea salt with the smoked paprika. You know, I always have trouble uh, pronouncing this brand. But they got different salts, different mixtures of salts. A couple videos, I use a different kind of salt. I got a couple different ones. You can order it online, but it is definitely good. It's just a, a then regular plain sea salt. It's a mixture, flavor, banging, y'all. You feel me? Hold on, I'm moving too much for y'all. So y'all can see that name right there. Especially, especially, listen, don't judge me. All right, let's do it. So I'm going to go ahead and put about a quarter teaspoon right up in there y'all all right now we almost done y'all so now i'm gonna go ahead and add i got about a half a shallot drop that in there about i got these little i got like i got i always keep fresh garlic cloves on hand so in my bag i had just a little bit left so i took these little really small ones but you only need like one clove but I took these small ones that I add up to probably like a clove. You know what I'm saying? But you want to go ahead and add a clove. I got some fresh thyme. If you don't have no fresh thyme, you can use dry thyme. About a quarter teaspoon. So I got me some fresh thyme. Drop that in there. Okay. And I also got some parsley. Some fresh parsley. Okay. You know, no more than like a quarter teaspoon to a teaspoon, y'all. Okay. Or half teaspoon, I should say. All right. Boom. Okay, and we're also going to need okay some olive oil. All right, all right, got my olive oil. Okay, we're going to need the olive oil, but we're going to pour that in as it's mixing. All right, we about to get this in, y'all. All right, let's do it. All right, y'all. Now we about to get our mix on. I then poured about a half cup of olive oil in my measuring cup. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get this mixed up, y'all. Oh, let me put my thing on there. We're going to mix this up. All right. And as it's mixing up, once we get it mixed up, I'm going to slowly pour my olive oil in, y'all. Slowly pour the olive oil in. All right, slowly pour it in. All right, y'all, we done blending. There we go. Ooh, look at our dressing, y'all. Look at that dressing. Pour them on out. Yeah, street style dressing, y'all. Oh. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. There go our dressing, man. You got some mason jars. See, and I only made a little bit, but this little bit will last me a, a minute. You know what I mean? Because it's only going, I'm only using it on sandwiches. Okay? 
So we can go ahead and make my sandwich and get some of this dressing up on there. All right. So, you know, you go to your hoagie shop, you like how they do their oil or, you know, you can buy, you can already buy hoagie dressing out the market, but sometimes you might want to have your own flavor. And this right here is smelling good. Like I, and I got the fresh herbs up in there. You know, I also got the dry herbs, but the fresh herbs and it's all. Oh, yeah, y'all. Oh, yeah, y'all. This going to be banging on the sandwich, man. You feel me? Let's do it. All right. So, you know, y'all can use this recipe for whenever. You can use, also use this on salad, too, y'all. Y'all can put this on salad, too. Okay. Anything you like dressing on. All right. So just bringing it to y'all real quick, live and direct, man, in the middle of my cold cut night. You dig? So please subscribe, share, like, hit that notification. You know, appreciate y'all watching, man. You know what I'm saying? Hit that bell, get those, get those. Yo, I got these videos coming, man. All right? Thanks for looking. Holla.